Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome to our survival server. We are here in the basement of one of the buildings of Miraheim. Uh, actually, just outside of Miraheim proper. This is the first building I ever built, and I have made a huge mistake. Um, I have finally downloaded and set up shaders. And I thought, because I was like, you know what, let's do a tour. And I downloaded stuff, and I've, I've already flown around because I wasn't in here when I started. But I was like, this shows off the least amount of the world. So we're going to start off in here. <laughs> I haven't ever played with shaders. Um, I've always wanted to, but I don't want to play with it constantly. I never wanted to play with it constantly. Uh, just, it was a personal thing. But now, I... <sighs> I brought him, I got him so we could do a tour today. And I don't think I could not use shaders anymore. Like, look at the water. Sorry. It's dumb. Like, look at this. I can't even tell that I'm inside a tube. Oh, now I see why everybody tells me to use shaders. Like, look at the glass. Ugh. Oh, this, this is all still boring. Well, ignore that. I know there's all the RTX stuff now, uh, not the, the, whatever they call it now, I'm drawing a blank, but, uh, that's coming out for the graphics cards and everything, but this is my first time ever messing around with this, as I said, and, um, yeah, I thought we'd start, I thought we'd do today a quick little tour, so for those who are new to the world, this is, uh, my survival, uh, let's play, we are kind of building up a Dark Ages slash fantasy outpost village thing is the best way I can describe it <laughs> and uh, this is kind of where everything started this was my first house uh, it was pretty this was pretty much everything we had everything on this floor we had storage uh, we had our smelters we had our blast furnaces we had our bed I did have an upstairs uh, I th oh I had set up enchanting up here that was really it I have my spare bed up here can't wait to go outside and show you guys everything. I think it's almost night as well. Yeah, the sun's going down. All right, we're going to take this bed with me because I don't think I have... I do have a bed. I always have a bed. <laughs> but yeah, this world looks amazing. But yeah, I can't remember... So what we did next is actually we built a few buildings that we ended up tearing down um, just as like a proof of concept for stuff I was working on. But we're not going to worry about those right now. What I am going to do is walk you through what we do have built that's still on the island here. So for the next building that was built that is still around, we have our little villager breeder. I cannot remember whose design this is. I do apologize uh, for the person who did make the design. It is out there if you search uh, villager uh, breeders. This, this one will come up and you'll be able to find out who it is. Do the villagers look any different? They look, they actually do. Yeah, they have a little bit more color. That's cool. But yeah, I need to do something with this. It'll be coming up. We have so much stuff on the plate right now that we're working on. Um, I built this at some point. <laughs> this is where I get my mushroom blocks because I'm using the mushroom stems in some of my buildings, which we'll be able to see once we get over to Miraheim proper, which is kind of the center area of everything going on. Now, that's just a cow farm. Nobody cares about that. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. This was right at the start of 1.16, so there was a lot of new blocks to play with. And I just had a field day with it. We did a lot of stuff. And then um, this was up. Actually, no, I think I started this in 1.15 because bees were broken. And were, yeah, so I started in 1.15 for this world. And then uh, bees were broken in 1.15. Uh, I wouldn't really say broken, but if you didn't have them caged in like this, they just disappear and be gone forever so I built that to keep them around and uh, the whole reason I chose this seed actually is because oh that looks so cool look at the lava uh, is because of what is down here oh wow it is really dark down here I forgot about that uh, there is do I have a torch yes I do there is a zombie spawner right out there and a skeleton spawner right there and I do kind of take a look at seeds beforehand. I love the water. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and I was looking preferably for two skeleton spawners that were next to each other. Uh, but I just, I looked around and I wanted it to be in a swamp. So like I, those were the only two things that I wanted. 
And I found this one here, which there is a second skeleton spawner, but it's just out of range from the first. But it did have that zombie spawner right there, so I decided to keep it. I love the, the sun coming through. That looks really cool. Sorry. I'm getting distracted by uh, shaders while trying to show you guys everything that's going on. Uh, and then, yeah, this is my um, iron farm. It's a very simple one. I think this is eagle eye, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you can actually see it work right there. <laughs> but yeah, if I remember, that was by uh, eagle eye. Do I have a boat on me? I do not. Well, I guess we're going to have to uh, fly, which I really didn't want to do. Actually, you know what? We're not going to fly. Uh, so, underwater. <laughs> The shadows are fantastic. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to turn shaders off. Oh, speaking of shaders, this is um, Silder's uh, medium. Uh, medium. Let me grab the exact wording of it so I don't tell you guys the wrong stuff. Uh, this is the Vibrant Shaders 1.281 medium. I could probably run the high, but I just I grabbed the medium just to be safe because I'd never run shaders before on here. And it's been fantastic. So... Let's head on, I'm trying to find, yeah, I want to start off at Miraheim proper. I don't want to show, actually, you know what, no. I'm not going to go in order. We're going to start off over at the, uh, I haven't given this farm a name yet. So if any of you guys do have name ideas, let me know for any of these places. Uh, let me know down below. We're actually going to start off with the thing I most recently built. We actually did this in a live stream the other night, and it looks so much better with shaders. <laughs> <laughs> I was hemming and hawing over. I probably spent about an hour playing around with different things, trying to make this look good and have it high enough where you could go under it, but low enough where it didn't seem like a huge run. And I'm very happy with how it came out. Oh, this is so fun. But yeah, this here is, um, as I said, there is no name for this farm, but it is a wheat farm. And they have uh, uh, plots set up in here where they've been growing their wheat in areas. And they have a hedge around the edge to uh, keep things, you know, keep animals from getting in, keep things from stumbling in, so on and so forth. That's how it would have been used initially. Um, I like it just because it looks nice. <laughs> and this was the farmhouse. This has actually become like my greenery storage. So all of like my leaves and everything I use for decoration are stored in here. I still have some cleaning to do, but that'll be uh, taken care of another day. Ooh, almost walked into that. Oh, the beehives look nice. Sorry, I'm going to be distracted by everything. I really should have played around in the world beforehand. Uh, and then, same thing. I don't remember when I built this, but this is my wool farm slash string farm. So if I stand up over here, there is actually a spider spawner that's down in there. And I can have both string being farmed for me by this uh, the dudes falling and dying. And there's sheep in there. I don't want to drop down just because it's annoying to get back up. And they uh, get automatically sheared as we go around. This is this is nice. I, I'm definitely going to have to play with shaders for now on. It just adds so much to this area. Uh, and then we have my first ever windmill. And I think it came out pretty good. I think it's a little thin at the... Ooh thin at the top i'm looking up and i'm falling in the water <laughs> but i am very happy with how it came out i don't currently have anything it's literally just yeah i don't know what i'm doing with it yet it's really just a decorative building at this point but i'm trying to give every building a function um or make it look li uh like lived in isn't the the correct term but make it look alive that's that's the term i've been using this looks so much better um i'm not a hundred percent on the water the coloring's a little weird for me, but uh, I like a lot of the other stuff. And we're actually going to swing on. This is a work in progress area over here. This has been something I've been working on in live streams. Uh, this is going to be like a lumber farm over here. And we actually dug out a spot here where we're going to be putting a river. It's not done. We still have a lot of digging to do. And then we have to place a lot of different blocks in there. So, if, uh, speaking of live streams, by the way, because I've mentioned them a couple of times, I do stream twice a week. If you guys want to catch those, they are over on Twitch. Uh, link is in the description, but I will uh, tell it to you here. It is twitch.tv slash defense041. That is D-E-F-E-N-S-E-041. -E -E and then we come up to what is uh, the most recent video that we did was this bridge and a guard tower. 
And I want to have these guard towers sprinkled. This place is going to be pretty big. <laughs> but I'm going to have these guys spread throughout the area. Uh, you, you'll be going along the roads and you'll just find... Because this is the main road, which is going to be coming through here. And I want it to be protected. And what we have here is uh, some more work that we did in the live stream. So if you guys watched the last episode, you wouldn't know what a lot of this is. But uh, this is uh, Captain Rex over here. He's got the shiny diamond sword. And uh, he's making sure his men are uh, doing their stuff. We got this guy over here uh, saluting to him. So this is using the armor stand um, vanilla tweak or extension or plug-in or whatever you want to call it. I call it a tweak because, well, it's in the vanilla tweak section. Uh, but yeah, you can arrange armor stands and make them do different things. So we've got one guy who's just getting up out of either getting up or getting into bed. I haven't really decided. We got two guys here sitting at a table. I'm going to eventually play with armor stands and make it look like they're either eating or playing cards. It is currently undecided. But uh, this is a couple other things that we did. It's just a lot of stuff. This is a little. This is my first action shot. I know it's very simple. Uh, it's literally just this guy shooting at a target, but it was a fun thing to work around with You know you got your hanging crossbows. So this is the archery range. These guys are working the crossbows Then we have a sword fight here. This guy's lunging and this guy's blocking. That was actually easy uh, This one was easier because it's there's a preset section in the book, which is nice. I actually really like these I wish so you see the um, everything moves Except for the banners. Like, they kind of do, but, like, I think it would be nice if they kind of rippled. Because they're not really stiff. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm glad that the uh, the texture packs stay with the shaders. And that these continue to move. And uh, following this road here, we will be coming up upon Miraheim proper. Uh, ignore my placeholder horse, please. Uh, it's not very good. <laughs> He kind of looks like a, a pig with a dragon head. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing for the horses yet. But uh, before we get into Mirheim proper, this is the, uh, I call it the dirt gang. They're uh, digging out some dirt under here and over there using a barge so that the uh, larger ships will be able to, uh, well, I say ships, larger boats will be able to get through this area uh, rather easily. You know, we'll swing down here and check it out quickly. Why not? Oh, sunset looks so good. Uh, I this was th these were my first attempts at um working with the villagers, uh, the armor stands, and I kind of messed this guy up. And I decided, you know what, we're gonna keep him. <laughs> he looks cool. Why not? Oh, look at he, the shadows extend with the sun. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm never gonna be able to turn shaders off. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> now we will enter Miraheim proper um, ignore the bit of a mess we are currently working in this area but uh, when you enter Miraheim proper there's going to be more buildings there's going to be like a barracks over here and stuff but uh, the most popular place back in the day was the market it's where you came to sell your stuff and buy your stuff and er oh this looks so cool I love shaders awesome sorry I'm getting distracted again uh, but yeah, this is all done with the armor stands. We're able to make invisible uh, item frames using it. We're able to make it look like swords and pickaxes and stuff are hanging. It did not work with the crossbows, by the way. I had to do those manually, which was a little bit of work. But uh, this here auto aligns all that stuff. So you can do it that way. We've got uh, these guys are from the farm over there that we had just shown you. They, uh, they're over here selling their wheat and uh, selling their hay, which is pretty nice. Uh, that's pointless. We're not going to worry about that. That was just, I need a lot more hay. <laughs> this is where you get your sweet meats. We got uh, cakes, cookies, and pumpkin pies, and some bread in case you don't want no sweet meats. But uh, as I was saying, in relation to the um, mushroom blocks earlier, that's what I used for these. And I think it looks... It looked good. Now it looks awesome uh, with shaders. This is where I spawned in with shaders, by the way, guys. So I just saw this right off and just went, okay, got to hide and look down. <laughs> Let's uh, sleep real quick. There we go. And uh, yeah. So this here is pretty much my work area. This is where I have my current storage for 
this stuff I am gonna have other storages out in the area as you guys already saw in the farmhouse over there where we have like our granary storage but this is really just my storage and then my bulk storage everything in here gets uh no, this is full gets stored in shulker boxes auto loaded in the back and then dumped down into the front this here is an El mango design uh, mixed with an impulse sv sorting system to sort everything out and then on top of it i have my smelter array <laughs> so a lot of redstone and a lot of stuff just crammed into this little area down here and it's honestly it's been this has been fun this has been one of the bigger worlds i've ever worked on you know what i mean by myself this is a single player world by the way if if you're new to the series and this is your first ever episode uh this is a, a solo world um, it's all just me here so it's been uh very different from what i've done before so i am very happy with it i like looking out i did just get a horse recently for the point of riding around so i can enjoy seeing everything a bit more versus flying around but uh so you'll see here this is a map of the area and if you can see that's where we are and these are a couple of the other buildings that i have since taken down this one this one this one and this one they were all temporary and oh even that and they've all been replaced but uh this is from april 19th and you'll also see there is no big thing here now this is our current up-to-date map as of, well, I have to fly out and update these areas. But um, this is, I actually just updated this on when uh, Friday when we were last streaming in the area. So there's been a lot going on. I actually have to update these areas as well because all of this is gone. So <laughs> a little bit of map work coming up, but I am pretty happy with it. We've got a lot going on, a lot of future stuff, which really hasn't happened, like hasn't been completed yet. But uh, it's really how it goes. And I just, you know, this is my map room. That's pretty much what it turned into. I had plans for it, and I don't remember what they were, to be honest. And that's just kind of where they live. You know, and I feel I skipped over a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show off a little bit more. This is a concept for kind of like a, a hanging decoration thing. You could do lights off of these. You could do the plant pots like this. Um, you could do other plants in there. I just haven't played around with it enough um, and I'm also not a huge fan of my total block palette I'm playing around with it I change it every so often uh, but yeah there's lots and lots going on <laughs> I forgot about this little guy he sells uh, feathers and chicken eggs but this is gonna be my storage this is where I'm going to be storing feathers and chicken eggs you know which is gonna be pretty fun not all of these will have like the actual storage like that one there cakes cookies pumpkin pies bread it's all gonna get stored over there cuz I don't really need it oh that looks really cool um, bamboo farm is in here and I'm eventually going to put a sugarcane farm in here and I keep saying that I've been saying it for about three or four months now and these are actually going to be warehouses I know I'm telling you a lot of stuff that hasn't happened yet but it's just stuff that I want to talk about whilst we're here doing this little tour and it's going to be so this is going to be the docks area so this is where everything is going to be imported and exported if it doesn't come in the front gates on cart so i'm going to have um, canoes boats bigger ships coming in uh, because we have access to the ocean via a river section over there and a really long river section actually they're both really long but another one at the other end of the swamp over there which is all going to be uh, it's going to have to be worked I'm going to have to do a lot of work on those. Oh, I forgot that's not actually a gate to uh, make it all fit. But this is the uh, the main, I'm going to call it a keep, uh, even though this isn't really like a castle setup. Um, it is a fortified location, so I'm just going to work this as the keep. But uh, this is where my villager trading is moving to. Oh, wow, this looks really cool. Um, I do have a, I do have to do some work up the top because I don't like seeing that ceiling. But everybody here is all hanging out. These are all emerald production. So everybody in here is used just to make this stuff. I don't want to open my inventory anymore. It just looks so bad compared to all of this. <laughs> it looks so blah. You know? That looks really cool. I like that blue fire way better. 
But uh, for everything here, like local, I'm pretty sure that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I have to head into the nether because we have a couple of projects I need to show you and a one that's pretty far away. So we'll uh, get into the nether. I've got two builds, three builds in the nether we're going to show off and then one that is over not in the nether. The nether isn't as exciting in, uh, it's just bright when you have the shaders. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. We'll see what it looks like when we get to, uh, the roof here. Cause that's where I currently am. I don't want to keep everything on the roof, but I needed the farms and I didn't have the time to dig everything out. Oh wow. With shaders, I can see all the way up to the top. You can't normally see these farms. So we'll start off with the first one here, which by the way, if you guys do want to build this one, there is a tutorial out on my channel right now for it. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the little uh, pop-up thing in the corner there. This is my basalt farm, uh, one that I designed myself. This one up here, what do we got? This is the, uh, the pork farm using the hoglins. Yeah, the hoglins, the new hoglins there. Uh, this is, again, I think I just saw pictures online and just went, yeah, that seems easy enough to build and just built it. So I didn't use any specific design on this, but it does use the uh, little mushroom doodads there, which grow into the trees if you let them. And those guys are scared of it, so they run away. Um, this was a project here that isn't actually made specifically for zombified piglins. This was actually designed by... Um, a uh, guy I actually used to play with over on the Minecraft server uh, back when uh, I think that was the last yeah that was the last multiplayer server I played on. He had actually came up with this design here, uh, the just the top part, in a larger form as a ghast farm that also produced zombie pigment, Zom zombified piglins is what they're called now. Um, and I just took it and went, hey, let's just get rid of the whole ghast part and I'll use it just for gold. And it's pretty passive. I don't really need a lot of gold, personally, so it works great for me. And I like it. So if you guys want to check them out, as I said, that's Muzzawood, M-U-Z-Z-A-W-O-O-D. And he's a good guy. He does a lot of cool stuff. He's doing, um, he's playing on a server right now called The Sticks, which has been pretty cool. And he also does a little bit of garden, a little bit of fishing, a little bit of fish tank stuff here and there. Um, but this is going to be the last stop on our tour until we get back to uh, the main village because I want to just do a quick flyby once we get over there. Uh, this is the nether squid farm. Uh, you just create nether portals in an area where squids can spawn. Get rid of all of the water around, which you can see when I got sponges and when I didn't have sponges. <laughs> all of this out took half the time that this did. So I was very happy with being able to get a hold of some sponges. But uh, yeah, so all the squids spawn in the water and then they go into the nether portals. And then once they go into the nether, we'll be able to see here. And oh, I didn't even notice that before. It looks like it's on fire, kind of. I'm sorry, distractions. <laughs> I'm new to shaders. All right. But yeah, now if you come in here, you'll see all the squids are sadly dying. Uh, <laughs> well, because it's very dry in the nether, so... Yeah, it's uh, a highly efficient farm because they get pulled out of the mob cap almost immediately. And then uh, they get, you know, pulled from the world almost immediately. But yeah, that is, as I said, pretty much the tour. Uh, I normally I normally want to have more in my world when it comes to tours. But I've been doing a lot more decorative bits versus what I've done in the past. Where normally... I just build buildings and so I feel there's a lot more in my world when it comes to the tours but since I've been doing a lot more decorative work and trying to make everything look lived you know look alive uh, I've been putting off the tour for so long and I'm both happy I did but I also regret that I did at the same time because I feel I could have gotten a lot of cool ideas from you guys being able to see the world as a whole and just kind of being able to see you know everything as it is so as i said if you guys do enjoy this video uh feel free to check out the rest of the series if you want to see 
the different builds and so on. Um, if you want to catch me doing a lot more of the small hand kind of decorative bits, uh, that's going to be on Fridays over on Twitch. So if you guys want to check those out. But as I was saying, I want to thank you guys for stopping in. I want to thank you a ton for all the support I've been getting on this series and on the channel as a whole over the last year. It has been fantastic. So I want to thank you, thank you, and thank you. But uh, as I was saying, again, thank you for stopping in. I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.